death of Selena Quintanilla Perez, otherwise known simply as Selena, shook the music industry in 1995. Selena had taken the Latino community by storm when she rose to become the queen of Tejano music and was amidst recording her crossover album, Dreaming of You, when she was tragically killed by her fan club president, Yolanda Saldivar, on March 31st, 1995, just weeks shy of her 24th birthday, which she would have celebrated on April 16th. But enough of me talking. Let's leave more facts for Megan to speak about. For now, we're here to make one of Selena's favorite foods, pepperoni pizza. Hey, this is Pixel Gamer Girl Heather, and our murder and dinner mysteries this month are going to be about the murder of Selena. Her favorite food was pizza, so we're going to try to be replicating Pizza Hut pizza. I'm not sure how successful we're going to be, but I guess we're about to find out. And so we are making something completely from scratch. I am going to be making a mock-up recipe of the Pizza Hut pizza sauce with basil, black pepper, salt, parsley, oregano, tomato sauce, lemon juice, and onion powder. Oh yeah, and our bay leaves. So, you know the drill. Let's get going. Hey everyone, Megan here with Murder and Mysteries of Megan here on YouTube. On my channel we talk about true crime, conspiracies, hauntings, and things of that nature. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you would hop on over to my channel and hit that subscribe button so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. Um, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. Plus, I'll be doing a giveaway here soon. When Heather and I were chatting about who we could cover this month for our monthly collaboration with each other, we got to talking and we thought, who better to do than Selena Quintanilla Perez? See, her birthday is actually April 16th of 1971. And this year, the queen of Tano music would have been 50 years old. But unfortunately, her life was taken callously while she was only 23 years of age by someone who was incredibly close to her. And she never thought that this person could be the one who ultimately caused her death. See, the woman that took Selena's life was someone that had grown close to the family. They had come into Selena's life back in 1991 when they had gone to a concert of hers and immediately fell in love with Selena. This woman's name was Yolanda Saldivar now, this woman had actually approached Abraham Quintanilla, which was Selena's father, and asked if she could start a fan club for the singer. Yolanda Saldivar ended up opening up a fan club in honor of Selena and became the president and ran the fan club. Over time, her relationship with Selena and her family continued to grow and blossom, and a friendship between Selena and Yolanda took place. And because of this, and because of the way that she was running everything with the fan club, Yolanda started receiving more and more responsibility within the business side of things, as well as continuing with the fan club. Over time, people would come to Selena and tell her that Yolanda was not someone that they believed that Selena should put her trust into. However, despite the warnings, Selena continued to trust Yolanda. It wasn't until December of 1994 that initially Abraham Quintanilla and Selena and Suzette, Selena's sister, ended up finding out that there were missing documents and there was also money that was missing from fans that had sent in checks to receive, you know, some of the memorabilia and things like that from the fan club and they never got anything in return. All of this stuff ended up coming out at the end of 1994, beginning of 95. Of course, Selena and her father and Suzette would then approach Yolanda and try to find out where the money had gone and where all the documentation was that they needed. 
again in March of 1995, on March 31st, actually. Selena would again confront Yolanda about the missing documents and everything that had been going on, trying to get the truth from her. However, unfortunately, everything took a turn for the worse. And Yolanda Saldivar ended up shooting and killing Selena Quintanilla Perez on March 31st of 1995. Anyways, that is it for me today here on Pixel Gamer Girls channel. If you would like to see the full video, um, some more on Selena's music background and history and how she became who she was at the peak of her career when her life was ended, hop on over to my channel and see the full video that's up over there. In the meantime, I'm glad that I could be here today and thank you all for watching. Have a great day and until next time, bye. All right, into our sauce, we're gonna put 16 ounces of tomato sauce. And I could only find two eight ounce cans, figures. <laughs> Going to be putting in one fourth of a cup of water. Stay. <laughs> While I have it here and need the other spoons, ah, we spilled some. It's okay, it happens. We're going to be putting in our teaspoon of sugar. And after that, almost everything comes in fourth. There, one fourth of teaspoon of garlic powder. A fourth of a teaspoon of oregano. A fourth of a teaspoon of parsley, which I will just sprinkle in an eyeball. A fourth of a teaspoon of salt. All right, we've mixed our sauce together and we're gonna be letting that simmer on a low heat for about 20 minutes. And here's our finished sauce. You know what time it is, let's get putting that pizza together. This is Pillsbury Pizza Crust, because I couldn't find the one that I thought I had, and I needed last-minute solution. Well, Selena's favorite pizza from Pizza Hut, which I am not Pizza Hut, I'm going to do really dang and well, is pepperoni with extra cheese. I think extra pepperoni, too, but I have large pieces of pepperoni because I got it from the deli instead of just getting those really spicy little small pieces. So you're going to have to deal with that. But I will be putting extra cheese. And seeing how it goes. Let's get our sauce on there we've made. Let's get that spread around. Now with the sauce on it, we are going to be sprinkling a nice generous layer of cheese. But only a thin one for right now. Once we have a thin, pretty even layer, I'm going to be placing on my deli slices of pepperoni. And well, you know the drill. Once we have that, more cheese. All right, so you can't see the pepperoni anymore. The only thing left to do is add a generous little sprinkle of Parmesan to the top. And if you don't like Parmesan, that's fine. Just leave it off. We're gonna be setting our oven for 400. All right, there's our pizza all cooked. Now we put that in the oven eight minutes before we started putting toppings on, and then for six minutes after we did.
I just wanted to take a moment to mention the Gamers and Geeks Can Cook playlist put together by Bulk Girl 145 and Jeffic of Death. If you want to find other cooks like um, Tanya and myself, you head on over there and you can find Vault Girls cooking videos, Quick Smokes cooking videos, and lots of other gamers and geeks that know how to cook. They all have some fabulous recipes. I know I enjoy watching it, so head on over there. I'll slap it in the description for you.